everyone, it's Shannon here for Hero Arts. In today's video, we are going to create this winter card featuring the November 2021 My Monthly Hero Kit. This card has a see-through card front and a really cool glittery snowy piece of acetate, which I'm going to show you how to create. We're going to start by creating our acetate. What we're actually going to use are these thermal laminating pouches. This one is three milliliters thick. The, the larger the number, the thicker it is, obviously. Three milliliters is all you need. You'll also need an actual laminator because you do need to melt these or actually seal these pouches shut. So I'm going to go ahead and open this pouch up here. You can see it's basically eight and a half by 11. It's actually a little bit larger than that. And I'm going to cover this with a bunch of stuff. I'm going to start with a uh, white embossing powder and you could just sprinkle this on, but I'm going to kind of create swirls. Uh, I'm just kind of pinching. I just stick my fingers in the embossing powder, pinch, you know, pinch and grab a little bit of it and then release it through my fingers to create these swirls. Of course, you don't have to do this. And I'm not even sure in the end how noticeable these that these are swirls uh, really are. You can just sprinkle some of this on or not even do the white embossing powder at all. But the embossing powder will melt when we run it through the laminator and it just has this really cool look. So I just did about half of this pouch with that white embossing powder. Now I'm going to move on to the glitter. I have Hero Arts Snowfall Glitter here. I'm just going to sprinkle some of it everywhere, even where I have the white embossing powder, because you basically have to do a whole um, pouch in one go, unless you cut it down. I'm just going to do this whole thing, even though I'm not using the other half for today's project, I might use it on another project in the future. Now I moved on to some sequins, or really they're kind of confetti like little stars. This came from Hero Arts July 2021, my monthly hero kit, and I just threw some of those in there as well. So now I'm running this pouch through my laminator, and once it is done, that's that again, that laminator melted that white embossing powder to really give it that snowy look and then it sealed in all of that glitter and uh, sequence. So I went ahead and trimmed this panel down to about four and a quarter by seven. You want it to be a little bit longer than your typical A2 panel because we do have to kind of fold this over to create our card base. So right now I'm scoring this panel at five and a half, just using my regular um, scoring bo board and uh, bone folder. And then I will fold it over and actually really press it down, but to really get a good um, crease, I'm going to then now run it through my laminator one more time, and this just really gives it a good crease. And this technique, by the way, everything I'm showing you is, um, what I learned it from Jennifer McGuire, so definitely go check out her video on her YouTube channel and blog. It is definitely more thorough and you see a ton of examples. So now that that's done, we're going to move on to creating kind of our background. I have an A2 panel of Arctic cardstock here and I'm going to ink blend over this with reactive inks starting with a splash. I'm just going to create a little gradation. This is going to be a nice backdrop for that snowy acetate that we made. Now moving on to my darker shade. This is blue Hawaii. Just going to ink blend that uh, bottom third here with that color as well. So once I'm done getting a nice gradation between these colors, I'm going to put this panel aside and we're going to need another panel, an A2 panel of just plain white cardstock to create our base. So we have our ink blended panel, a white panel, and our acetate sheet. The first thing I'm going to do is add some score adhesive um, to the, it's just double sided adhesive to the tab here on that sheet, that kind of folded over part. I'm going to add it to the to both sides of the tab, so the inside and the outer side of that tab, because we have to sandwich that little tab between that white cardstock panel and the Arctic panel. So I just put two pieces of score tape down. You could just use a tape uh, runner if you have that instead. Just do one tab, one side of the tab at a time. And now that I've removed the backing on the adhesive on one of the tabs, I'm ready to adhere that inside um, panel in, which is that ink blended panel. So I just adhered that to one side of my acetate. Now I'm going to remove the backing on the other adhesive parts on the tab of the acetate, and then also add some liquid glue. I'm using Hero Arts Precision Glue to 
add that glue to the bottom portion or basically the cardstock portion because we do need to, to kind of adhere the cardstocks to the cardstocks you know back those two cardstocks up to each other so now that actually completes my card base so ready now to move on to our snowman so i went ahead and die cut three of all the parts that i need to create my snowman i'm going to start here by trimming out this little ribbon i did uh, the other two already so I'm going to finish up this last third or my final one and I just die cut this out of a scrap of arctic cardstock I don't need the whole hat cut out but I just need that little ribbon part so I just die cut that little ribbon part out of the scrap and then use my scissors to fussy cut it free now I'm also going to trim off the the gift tag hanger part because I'm obviously not use making these gift tags I'm making a card and then I'm going to move on to the faces. I have some micro pore tape. I'm going to add a little piece to the back side of my snowman face and then pop in the nose and the eyes. And then eyes are made were die cut out of pitch black cardstock and the nose was die cut out of papaya cardstock. And again, I used scraps here. You don't have to use like a whole panel, especially if you're not going to if you're, all you need are the little eyes and the little nose. So now that that face is done, I'm going to just quickly glue my um, ribbon, that arctic blue strip there, to the hat. And then we're just I just repeated that process with all the remaining faces and hats. Now we're going to assemble one head here. So I'm going to glue the hat to the head. And then I will glue the uh, scarf to the bottom portion of the head. Just go over the head a little bit. And I want to go ahead and make a second one, but before I do this, I need to stamp on this my sentiment because it's kind of hard to stamp on it once it's all adhered together. So I popped the hat in my Misty, grabbed a sentiment from the included stamp set in the kit, and put down some anti-static powder, then inked up that sentiment in embossing watermark ink. Going to ink it up and stamp it twice just to make sure I get a really good impression. And then I will dip this into some more of that white detail Hero Arts embossing powder. So now that that's um, the powder is on, I'm just going to heat set this real quick with my heat gun. And that will be our sentiment for the card. Nice and easy. And I really love the scripty writing. It has a really fun vintage feel. So now we're ready to assemble the second snowman head. Now I want this snowman head to match exactly the first. So I'm holding the head right on top of the first one and then adhering the um, hat and scarf in the same position. Just using that back, that back snowman as a guide for adhering these other die cut components. So now I've got two heads that match identically. The other snowman, I'm going to save that for the end, so I'm not going to put him together yet. Now we're going to move on to the snowman body. So I used a die from the Nesting Circle Infinities die set and die cut some scrap of white cardstock. And I trimmed off the bottom portion of one of the, the, um, the circles and then just used it to trace the other two and trim those off as well. So now we're going to move on to assembling our snowman. I'm just positioning that body of him on the card front just so I can figure out where I want the head to go. Then added a little bit of liquid adhesive to the scarf to kind of adhere this head down to the body. But again, I want this, <laughs> this snowman to match perfectly with the second, the one we started before. So I'm going to line these up, line that body up, and then line the head up according to that other snowman that we've got completed. So now we have two snowmen totally completed, ready to go to our card. I'm going to add some liquid adhesive to the backside of this one with the sentiment on his hat. He goes right onto the card front. And then I'll move on to the second snowman, add some adhesive to that, and he will go inside my card onto that ink blended background panel. This That snowman actually is going to be where you can write a little, you don't have a lot of writing room, but you can write a little sentiment inside or a little, that's where your greeting can go in your card. So I've got those stuck down and in place. Now we're going to finish up the back side of this snowman. We're just going to clean it up here by adding our final snowman pieces. So I'm gluing down the head, the body, the scarf and the hat lining it all up. Now the trick here with the scarf is you actually have to flip it over. You can't do it right side up. You have to do it upside down essentially to line it up because it is not symmetrical obviously. So that's the only way to get that one lined up. So I'm just kind of um, trying my best to match these up perfectly. I did need a little piece of white paper here to help me see that black hat. I was having a hard time seeing it on 
uh, my black work surface to again I want to make sure that hat is perfectly lined up with the, the hat on the front so um, you can't really see it, it all looks very cohesive and clean and once I get that stuck down my card is complete and I'll hold this up to the camera so you can get a good look at all the details on this card, especially that specialty acetate that we made with the white embossing powder, glitter, and sequins. That's a really fun touch to this card. And the fact that it's a see-through kind of open card front is also a, a fun surprise as well. And you can see here as I open it up, all of our snowmen match nat nicely. And we have this little spot on the inside here on the snowman's belly to write a little greeting as well. Now, if you don't have laminating pouches or a laminator you can still make a fairly similar card just with acetate just it won't have that snow and glitter on the acetate but it can still be a see-through card front and still be a very fun card as well i hope you guys enjoyed today's card and video if any questions about the products i used please check out the links below in the description thank you so much for watching and i hope you have a wonderful day